Early on the cold February day of the 27th, at his home in Charlestown, West Virginia, at the age of 110, Frank Woodruff Buckles died of natural causes in his home. The last doughboy has departed. Frank Buckles was the last man standing. The old soldier served as an ambulance driver during the war. He had signed up for the army at the age of 16 after his previous attempts to join the Navy or the Marines were rebuffed by recruiters. By 1917, he was sailing on a troop ship to Europe where he would serve with American forces in England and France. The total number of casualties in World War I, both military and civilian, was about 37 million. To his dying day, Buckles worked with the World War I Memorial Foundation, which seeks to have Americans veterans of that war commemorated on the National Mall in Washington. I was a snappy soldier, he told USA Today in 2007, all gung-ho. Play taps softly and sweetly and give a snappy salute to a snappy soldier. Peace is the greatest memorial to the victims and veterans of war. But it would be fitting for all citizens to pause in remembrance of this nation's last veteran of the war to end all wars. As the Tomahawk missiles and warplanes fly in Libyan skies, reflect on the war to end all wars, followed by World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Afghanistan, Iraq, naming only a few. Will there truly be a war to end all wars? Perhaps when the last man exhales his last breath. No beast so fierce but knows some touch of pity. But I know none, and therefore I am no beast.